Okay, this is a tutorial on how to install Ubuntu Linux. Um, so I've gone to the homepage for Ubuntu at ubuntu.com and I'm going to scroll down here and there's a link here that says Get Ubuntu Now. So I'll click on that. And you can see here you're given some choices um, right off the bat. You can uh, download and install it. You could try to set up a USB thumb drive with Ubuntu, or you could run it with Windows, kind of um, alongside Windows. And I'm just, in this case, I'm going to do a download and install. So I click download and install, and download Ubuntu. You can see here the latest version is 11.10. So I pick latest version. 32-bit is recommended. So I've selected that. And then you just click start download and it will download an ISO file for you. Now I usually save the ISO file to my desktop and so now you can see if I go to my desktop here you'll see there it is and there's my Ubuntu 11.10 ISO file. I'm using Windows 7 here so what I did was is I just right clicked on it and said burn disk image and I put a, a DVD in my um, I put a DVD in my uh, DVD burner and I just burned it up, right? So, um, so that's pretty easy. You could do that right from Windows 7 just by right clicking on it and saying burn disk image. Okay, so now that I have the disk image, we can install it. Now for this install, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it as a virtual machine using VMware Player. Okay, now if you want to install VMware Player, just do a search for VMware, go to their site, register an account, set up a username and password for yourself, and VMware Player is uh, free to download, and it's a free program that you can run. So you can see here that I've got one virtual machine for Windows Server 2008, and um, I'm going to create a new one though, so I'll say Create New Virtual Machine. Okay, so I'm given a choice right off the bat. I could use it from the disk, which I burned, right? So I could put my disk in, and I could do it right from the disk. Or I can just access the ISO file directly if I just select this option. Or I could install the operating system later. Um, so let's try the right from the ISO file. So I'll just select that, and then I'll find the ISO file. It's on the desktop. We'll scroll to it. There it is. Okay, all right, Ubuntu 11.10 detected. This operating system will use easy install. Okay, I'll hit next. Let's give this a shot. Full name, I'll call it Ubuntu 11.10. Um, username, I'll just use my name, Dan. I'll make myself a password. All right, I'll hit next. And the virtual machine name, I'm going to uh, also give it Ubuntu. I'll say dash 11.10. Okay. Notice it's showing me where it's going to be in the C drive here. I'll hit. Okay. I hit next. And now maximum disk size, 20 gigabytes. Uh, recommended size for Ubuntu, 20 gigabytes. I'm guessing that that should be fine. I could up it a little bit. Let's say to 25 or something like that, but 20 gigabytes should be plenty, so I'll just hit um, next, and notice power on this virtual machine after creation, that sounds good, and I'll hit finish. Okay, now I'm going to hover over here, and the following software, okay, either to the host or to one virtual machine at a time. I'll just click OK. The following software is available for download VMware tools for Linux. I'm going to hit download and install. That's fine. All right, Ubuntu 11.10. Looks like my install is working. VMware Tools for Linux is downloading. I'll put that off screen. And you can see it looks like the installation is going quite nicely. Okay. 
you can see here that it's copying the files Okay. All right. Looks like the installation is working. Um, we're getting the system restarting at this point. It says here the guest operating system has locked the CD ROM door and is probably using the CD ROM, which can prevent the guest from recognizing media changes. Eject the CD ROM from inside the guest before disconnecting. Disconnect anyway and override the lock. Okay, I'm going to click no, which is the default. Okay, VMware Easy Install. Please wait, VMware Tools is currently being installed on your system. Okay, I'm gonna wait and see if this does install without me having to do anything, which would be pretty nice. As you can see, I'll drag over this window. The updates, the VMware tools for Linux version 8.4.8 was finished um, updating, so I'll just close that now. And that's what I'm waiting on right now. Okay, looks like it worked. I didn't have to do anything. All right, let's try to log in anyway and start using um, Ubuntu. It doesn't seem like the graphical user interface is coming up. So I'm going to click in the window here. Notice how my mouse is captured. And if I want to get my mouse back, I'll just hit Control Alt, the right Control and Alt keys on my keyboard, and I can pull my mouse out. I'll click back in there, and I'll type in my username and my password. And all right, welcome to Ubuntu. Now, I've got a command line interface right now. Um, but what I want to do is I want to see if I can start the graphical desktop. So let's try to just type in start X, hit enter, and see if we can get X windows started up. I'm going to hit the control alt keys on my keyboard to get my cursor back, and then I can recenter my VMware machine. All right. All right, the desktop's coming up, and this is the new 11.10 version. All right. Now, right out of the box, let's see if, for instance, in this VMware machine, this VMware, this virtual machine, let's see if we can have uh, internet connectivity just right on the go here. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we're connected and we're good to go. You can see I just brought up ESPN. So looks like everything's working nicely. And I've got Ubuntu 11.10 running in my VMware player. Now if I go to Virtual Machine, Virtual Machine Settings, and go to Network Adapter, I'm probably going to want to check my change my network adapter settings. So I'm going to scroll over here to settings, which is off screen. And right now it's set to NAT, which is fine. Um, I probably eventually will switch to a bridged connection and click OK and see if I still can maintain internet access. All right. And looks like I am. And still go. All right. 